hi welcome to 100 days ui series in pigma so today is the day 8 and the challenge is to design a port 04 page so let's start before start any project my first step is a rough sketching so i did the rough sketch first and let's discuss the sketch so the structure is to place a logo on the left side and then nav item on the right side we will place cta call to action button and the here is h1 title big title and uh, then we will place a few line text like a paragraph uh, maybe two to three lines and then a cta button and on the right side we will place a port 04 related illustration which i have already downloaded from prepick and uh, we will use it so if you also want to use the free illustration so you can visit to the prepick site and find uh, 404 illustration okay so the next thing is to create color palette so i have already created a color palette okay so first we need to add this color palette to our local style so select the color palette and click on these four circle click add and we'll call this purple the next color will be pink so this is the color palette we have added to our local style okay now let's select the sketch and copy this and go to the design page it's a good practice to organize in pages so it can be easy for developer or anyone who can work on this file so he can easily find your assets so this is the mood board wireframe related and inspiration research related item so we will place all here and in the design we will place the real design item like if we can start from low fidelity and then high fidelity and also the last page is for the components there is any component we are going to use so the master component we will place it here and let's start the designing the page first we need to select frame tool on the right side in the preset panel let's select desktop and inside the desktop presets let's select macbook air and let's place it here and rename it okay next we need to add layout grid so here we just need to click on this plus let's change this from the drop down to column and for the count let's use 12 and color let's make it light gray it's not too much destructive and type let's use stretch and margin 24 and for the gutter make it 24 so both 24 gutter and margin okay so let's create the logo just select type tool and we will type for the typography let's use poppins and let's leave it bold for the size let's try 20 see if 20 is working let's zoom in and i think 20 let's try 24 yeah 24 is looking good let's color it uix design and let's duplicate this and we will type academy so for the academy let's use medium and for the size let's make it 16 and try 16 okay for the color let's make it this dark color you have to select both and right click add auto layout it's time to add navigation so for the navigation let's select type tool and we'll type home it's actually copying the last properties which we have done for the academy so let's use it let's select these and right click add auto layout for the home let's select and make it bold and for the color let's use dark and this color should be the same dark color okay now let's select line tool or maybe rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle with the same width and let's make it 4 apply the gradient something like this let's make it 100 percent round for the gap between the nav item let's make it 40. i think we need to reduce the width make it 32. for the cta let's select text and we will type contact us let's remove spacing and make it bold 
leave it 16 for now. now right click and add auto layout for the left and right padding let's use 32 and for the top and bottom let's make it 16 roundness 100 percent and for the color let's try okay so now we need to select button text and change the color to white let's place it here if we are using component so let's create component and now cut this paste inside component now go to design in the asset panel let's grab here it's time to add a big title h1 let's select type tool why well, it's not working so let's make it title case for the size let's use 96 first we need to make it dark now let's select the nothing text and make it purple also we can apply gradient if we select purple and let's try gradient i think gradient is looking good okay power spacing i think 120 is okay okay again select type tool and let's create a paragraph and place the text we will use pop-ins for font regular let's make it 20 and for line height let's use 40 let's reduce the line height make it 110 let's grab again the component for the cta here we just need to right click and detach instance now let's select button base and make it dark as we don't want to mix it with contact us button so here we just need to make it dark let's select all these three items right click and add auto layout let's check 40 and for these two items let's right click add auto layout and let's try 24 yeah it's looking good let's turn up grid so this is our page let's select the artwork create component now let's go to design and inside the asset panel okay now select the illustration and press k key and uh, let's try i think it's very small and let's use this let's turn on grid and place it here let's bring this one to let's align these okay so let's select pen tool let's draw a blob type shape we can use plugin for this but let's try to draw it manually let's make it this gradient select it and send it to back now let's copy this and paste it inside the frame now let's send it to back and let's edit the anchor point and let's drop the opacity let's try 25 percent turn up grid so this is our today challenge which was 404 page design hope you like the video if you like please let me know in the comments also if you are new to the channel please make sure you subscribe the channel and support us thank you